All right, so we've uh, arrived at our destination for the morning. Uh, as you can see, it's really low light still. It's only around 5.30 in the morning. It's prime bite time now. And we're going to be doing big long casts with our drift. So we're drifting at the moment from south to north. We're going to be doing big long drifts now. Just want to overemphasize that we're full stealth mode when we're coming in. So when we're coming into our drift, we've got to make sure that we go right round where we're actually going to be going to fish. So don't be going through your drift line, be conscious of other fishermen as well. This is really shallow water, so you don't want to spook these fish. So just going to get a big long cast with the, with the wind, and then we're going to be working it back to the boat. You do need that, that line to be spooled right to the brim, so you can get the bigger cast. And also you want, you want fairly new line on there. You don't want just the old line that's been sitting on there for 12 months, otherwise it won't cast as well. We're gonna work the lure back to the boat. So just a couple of little jigs, let it sink, work it all the way back to the boat. So let's come back to the boat now. Once we're back to the boat, we just repeat the process. Oh, that's a good fish. That's a good fish. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Oh wow, wow, that's a good fish. Oh man, this is big. This is big. Oh no, 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 oh my God. Just going to run through a couple of the uh, setups that we're using for these shallow water snaps. I've got three types of rigs. I've got a uh, really light rig, medium setup, and a, and a heavier rig. So the first rig that I mainly use is uh, this one here. It's a real budget style rig. So anyone out there is going to be able to afford this. It's a uh, Shimano Cemetery 2500. It's got 12 pound Power Pro running through it. Uh, we've got a 1 8 jig head, which I tie a loop knot on. It's so about three to four inch in soft plastic size, so nothing really any, you know, any bigger than that for this shallow water stuff here. If you go down south, you might go a bit, little bit bigger and go to five and seven inch plastics, but for here, we use three to four inch plastics. The next size up, I'll go to a 3000 size reel. It's a Shimano Stratic with another Raider rod, over seven foot in length, so all my rods are over seven foot because we need that, that, need that casting distance for when, when we're casting, we need to put out big long casts with our drifts. And this one here, I've upgraded the line on here. It's, it's 20 pound Power Pro, and that runs through to a uh, 20 pound uh, uh, fluorocarbon, fluorocarbon leader. Um, so this one here is definitely a heavier rig. I've upgraded the line on this to 20 pound, just so we can get a bit of stopping power on these uh, bigger fish. And uh, I'll predominantly fish with this one when it's really strong bite time. So that low light period early in the morning when we, we've got the fish on. Uh, the, the next one I'll go to is a really light rig. It's more of a finesse brim rig and uh, good luck trying to stop some big fish on this. But it's a five pound power play on a 1000 size Stratic and a uh, one to four kilo uh, Raider rod. Really light, super light this one, but it's probably one that I just use when the, when the bite is shut down and you know, you've got a bit more highlight there. Uh, still going to a uh, 12 pound, uh, 12 pound leader, but uh, yeah, much lighter rig. Gonna be hard to stop those bigger fish in the shallow water though. So they're, they're the three rigs. End of the day, good luck stopping them. It's, uh, it's really tough and heart in your mouth sort of stuff when, you, when you're fishing this like here in the shallow water, but that's all the fun of it. So go out and get in them. <laughs>